The project we are just starting now is to build a fiber seismic network in the area of Pasadena. We call it the Pasadena Array. The project is about converting telecommunication fiber that are already existing uh, in cities, for example, into seismic networks. This technology is called disputed acoustic sensing. The idea is that you shine a laser through the fiber, and then you listen to the echoes of the laser due to imperfections inside the fiber. Right? When the fiber is moving together with the ground, then the echoes will change slightly too. So by monitoring the change of the echo, we can monitor every segment of fiber, every meter of our fiber, how they are vibrating in space. We are using the fiber owned by the city of Pasadena and turn them into uh, 50,000 seismometers in Pasadena at one meter spacing. Uh, in the past, before this project, we probably have like less than 10 seismometers in this area. So this is a, like a thousand times more than what we have now. So there are three things uh, we can learn uh, from this array. One is we hope we can detect earthquake as small as the earthquake magnitude minus one. Okay, so that would give you like tens of times more earthquakes that you can detect. So every year, where you're going to detect uh, hundreds or thousands of earthquakes. All, most of these are much, much smaller than what we have now, but they can help us to illuminate the forts in the Pasadena area. So you know which fort are there, which are the forts we didn't know previously, we, we can now image them, and also we can know what's the geometry of the fort, maybe which ones are more active than others. The second one is to um, understand the structure of the Pasadena like sedimentary basin. With the Pasadena array, we were going to map at 100 meter resolution. So we're going to see exactly what's the geometry of the basin and how slow is the sediment compared to the bedrock. So how well it can trap the seismic waves. The third one is to study um, the very shallow structure of the uh, Pasadena area of the Earth. Um, so basically the top tens of meters of the Earth is called the soil layer. Uh, layer. Uh, this layer depends uh, determines strongly uh, how the shaking is going to be um, at a very small scale. For example, uh, during a large earthquake, two houses uh, hundreds of meters apart from each other could experience three or five times difference in the ground shaking. And this could be due to just the top soil layer. I don't think we're going to move the house away from areas with the softer soil. But certainly, we can map the structure so that we can better forecast what's going to be the ground shaking for the next big earthquake, so that you can make preparations ahead of time. So maybe reinforce some of the structures if it's in a particularly uh, dangerous place.